Thanks to big data and supercomputers, meteorologists can now make predictions with even greater accuracy. And that could have a huge impact on local economies. Better weather is this week's cover story. In developed countries like the United States, our smartphones warn us of looming storms, bitter cold, or searing heat. But billions of people around the globe lack even basic weather forecasts, making the world a much more chaotic and dangerous place. But in an historic marriage of big data and supercomputing, IBM recently launched Graph, the global high-resolution atmospheric forecasting model. IBM says Graph will provide accurate weather forecasts not for a few places around the world, but for the entire world. What you're hearing is the sound of Deus, the IBM supercomputer that runs its new global weather model. It's named after an ancient god who ruled the daytime sky. It consists of nine cabinets that has 84 nodes in it. It outputs 12 trillion pieces of weather data every day for 26 million locations around the world. The supercomputer is so fast, this massive model provides new forecasts every hour instead of every six hours. We're actually getting down to kind of the cellular level of the thunderstorms now where we weren't able to do that before. And with that information, we can now provide better support to critical decision makers. It's big potential business because big companies increasingly need accurate weather data. Any business that doesn't have a weather strategy is missing out on returns. All is tied to your environment uh, and the weather. Being able to predict that in advance for retailers, energy companies, travel and transportation businesses is all we do. Better international weather forecasts can mean more comfortable flights for passengers who are routed around turbulence and even shorter flights. If we can do a more fuel efficient flight, um, we, we can certainly save money on fuel. There's just a variety of ways that operating on time and efficient manner improves the American bottom line. No matter how good the tech, a new weather model has to prove itself over time. American will wait at least several months before relying on it and then only along with all of its other weather data. IBM has plans to continuously upgrade the model, adding real-time weather data from airplanes in the sky and even from smartphones. For On The Money, I'm Steve Leisman. So how will this improved weather data help you get a better forecast? Sherry Backstein is the global head of consumer business for the weather company, which is an IBM business. And Sherry, thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. So how, how does the new model work and why is it better than what we already have? Yeah, so the new model is a leap forward in global weather forecasting because primarily about the high resolution. So models today have the resolution down to six to nine miles. Graph brings the, that down to within two miles. Wow. So that improves the accuracy. Just in it, terms of where the storm's going to be, how much snow you get in any one particular area? That's right. It's really great. Um, one of the areas I'm excited about in predicting severe thunder storms, some of those pop-up thunderstorms that happen during the summer. So now we can be able to predict those much better. It also updates more frequently, so every hour as opposed to every six hours. So the combination of high resolution and updating more frequently gives a more precise, more accurate forecast. What does that mean when I check the weather app on my phone? Will I get better information there too? Absolutely. So anybody who has a smartphone, a laptop can download the Weather Channel app, Weather Underground app, go to weather.com, and this forecast will be infused into the forecast forecast that you see on those devices. This is a short-term forecast, so it goes out 15 hours. So it will really help you when we tell you when it's going to rain down, it really means down to the minute. Right. Um, and it will help you with those thunderstorms um, and certainly with heat in the summer and temperature. What, is, is it better because, is it more accurate because you are dealing with supercomputers and much faster connections, or is it better because you're getting more uh, data on the ground, local data? So it's a little bit of everything. So we are able with this new model to use data off airplanes, to use data off your smartphone, if you give us that permission, we can get barometric pressure off the really? smartphone. Really? You're, like, you're going to be like Waze, crowdsourcing well, it? Well, we're going to crowdsource that pressure with your permission to, in order to uh, improve that forecast. <laughs> IoT devices. So this model allows all these different inputs along with satellite technology and observation and some ground data to improve that accuracy. You know, I'm thinking it's great for me if I'm planning a picnic or a backyard barbecue, but that's kind of 
pales in comparison when you think about what this could mean for some of the less developed countries that are out there. What, what, what does this mean for them? What does it mean in terms of actually preventing real catastrophes? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there is a meteorological divide in the world. So there's areas, the United States and Europe, where our technology is much better. There's more investment from the government around weather. And due to economics in other countries, you just don't see that investment. This kind of levels that playing field now so everyone can have a great forecast. So a farmer in Kenya mm -hmm. can have the access to an accurate forecast, just like a farmer in Kansas. What businesses, you mentioned agriculture, but what other businesses would be using this type of information? So there really isn't a business that's not impacted by weather, you know, retail, insurance, energy, uh, shipping. So a lot of industries can use this, but even down to the small business owner, right, the, the landscaper, everyone really has, you know, a purpose to understand the weather, whether you're just trying to keep your family safe, you're trying to run your small business, or certainly for your enterprise. How, how do you make money on this? Because I'm guessing as a consumer, I'm not going to pay you for the app. No, our app is free yeah. to everyone. Um, and so we make advertising on our app through advertising. Um, and so we provide all the weather data and the forecast for free. You just have to look at some of those ads. And then on the enterprise side, certainly we can license that weather data to enterprise. What's great about this model is it provides best in class weather forecasts that then a company could take their own data and put together to figure out what decisions they need to make to run their business.